Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Raghu from Smart AI Technologies. Today we will see how to build an application where uh, e-commerce web page where you can classify the things okay properly with the names and you can display them. Even as an extension, you can display like what is the price of that particular shoe and its parameters and its complete details. Okay, its complete details can be uh, displayed here and it can be made just like an uh, Amazon website but these classifications this classification should be done automatically okay that you can see here okay everything whatever you can see here this we will do using deep learning okay plus flash html and css okay so uh, keep on watching okay don't skip so you may miss some things okay uh, we will go from the from the basic okay from basic we will move First, we will understand what is the data set that I am checking and I am using in my project. Uh, so, when it comes to data set, I am using the data set of shoes from Amazon. So, where in each class, okay, in each type of shoe, there are so many number of images. We will check how many images are there in each class using code. And then we will import them, we will build, we will pre process them, we will build deep learning model and in the end we will build the complete application a web application so this is our data set okay in train folder we have five classes ballot flat board grog clock and sneaker so now what i will do is i am going to build it using uh, python okay so for that i am going to first i am going to import all the basic libraries one by one so after that okay if you if you want me uh, in depth uh, explanation or like that you can contact us personally i think like if you watch our previous videos you'll be knowing about these libraries because we are using almost the same uh, libraries again and again so now i am not going to explain you in depth what i'm using but i will try to explain you the process if you need any particular personal guidance or one to one help you can contact us to the given number below Okay, so here I am mentioning the what is the data set path and I am getting I am going to read all the content like five different folders, five different classes of shows, and I am going to create a data frame and finally when I plot the graphs you can see here in all the classes there are around 2000 images okay so 2000 images per clock type boot and boat type boot sneaker grog and like that okay so for different shoes we have uh, 2000 images now i am going to display them to check whether it's right or wrong then i am going to pre-process them and convert them into array and uh, divide then uh, divide that into test trainer and validation set and then i am going to use resnet 50 to uh, train the model okay this we call it as a transfer learning using transfer learning i am going to build the deep learning model i am going to train in my case i trained it for 50 epoch and you can see here our training accuracy is 99 it's almost nearly 100 percent accurate okay training accuracy and uh, validation accuracy is little bit low okay 75 percent we can reduce this we can increase this validation accuracy by doing some stuff okay that we'll discuss separately otherwise if you contact me i will help you to do that also then i'm going to save the deep learning model which i train and I am going to get hyperparameters. You can see here the model is getting overfitted, so validation loss is increasing. Okay, validation accuracy is decreasing. So uh, we should stop either we should stop uh, a training at the initial stage uh, where uh, this rise of uh, validation loss is increasing, or we should do some extra pre processing stuff so that we can get the best model best model with low validation loss so after that i am going to apply it on some data and i am going to test it on single images okay now then okay everything is fine now i am going to build this application how i am going to build what are the things i am going to go for okay. for this you can see here for index space i wrote very very simple very very simple code okay that you can see here this is uh, what i want to say is this is abcd of html you don't need to know HTML too much, okay? Only title tag and and whatever the data comes from that back end that is flag. 
I am going to display here. What are things that are coming from flask? Actually, image is coming from flask, and the next one is the predicted name of the image. What is the particular shoe? Okay, that is classified using deep learning model that which we trained. You can see here. Mm. This is the code I wrote, and here I, I copied that model ResNet.h5, which we created just now using my uh, ResNet facility. I'm import that. I'm going to import that. And then you can see your app that file which I coded. Here, initially, I am going to first I am going to import all the images in my given folder. This is my input folder where I have different type of images. Okay, nearly these many images. Now my purpose is I need to classify which class it belongs to using my deep learning model and display that onto my HTML page. So here you can see. First, I am going to check, I am going to take the list of it and then I am going to predict it, ok. I am going to give it to this function, predlift this is, which I imported, imported it from a function called model predict.py. This function I imported here. When image uh, path I give to this function, it will give me predicted index, ok, which particular index, that is which class it belongs to, I will get it, ok. So that you can see here. Once I get it, I push that data to my front end. Okay. What is that particular complete list I will push? Okay. First one is image path list. Second one is predicted uh, output of each image. Okay. Third one is their index. So for writing for loop for two list, I am using this function. Okay. This list that you can see. And whatever the data comes to index, I will just write a for loop. Okay. K in length of list one. It means from 0 to that particular uh, number of images it will come and it will first display that image and then it will display which is that exactly which type of shoe is that so then your front end looks like this if you want to play with it I will, I will show you now okay uh, you may think uh, these images are not good okay I will delete it for verification what we will do is um, a good shoe data set I will take a test or train data let us find a test and i will take sneakers okay complete sneakers i will take they are around this much okay all of them are sneakers okay now what i will do i'll push it here static image folder once you make it here now if you go on So it's running fine it's detecting here you can see how much percentage that particular class belongs to it must be sneaker okay so let us see what happens okay there are so many images so it's taking some time let it take okay it will display the result anyway Now you see here, uh, some classes are misclassified, otherwise everything is almost a sneaker, okay, sneaker, 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 clock, some are misclassifying, why because our model is having, our class, our uh, like our model is having so much less, uh, more losses there with uh, testing data, okay same thing you can see okay this was testing data so let us try with our training data so what will happen so i will go here to go train i will take sneaker say first three rows already it will be almost under percent accurate so let us classify again whether it's working yeah it's working it's predicting you can see here it's almost 100 percent 99 percent like that okay 
so classification is happening far better on training data rather than testing data our main purpose now next is to reduce this okay you can see here only one misclassification is there one clock okay misclassification is there a uh, few misclassified is there okay so you can or we can reduce this loss okay our testing loss we can reduce uh, for by doing further improvements are increasing the number of layers in our deep learning model this is the way okay you can even make it just like an amazon application like this what is the importance of it okay we are doing then what is the importance of it is we can see this time okay now you can see it just like this okay my web page for now is displaying only images for but we can add if that particular brand is ESCN then its price will uh, range from this much to this much and its parameter we can have a database and it, we can fetch the database of that particular brand and we can display just like an Amazon we can make a good application okay? e-commerce application within a second within a second okay so whatever the images you have it will be classified you just need to paste it here that's all so if we can build application like this this will save a lot of time for e-commerce website like applications and it will increase the accuracy also so human error uh, will be reduced okay. uh, this was all about today's class we will see in the next class okay thank you thank you very much if you want code and data set let me know contact us to the given number okay you can whatsapp us you can otherwise you can directly visit to our our website you are there also will get contact information don't skip and uh, try to like and subscribe and support us okay we will be bringing some good topics and good projects for you thank you thank you very much